Okay. Oh! Yeah, hi, welcome to my channel. Sorry, I just, I started off kind of weird, didn't I? I usually film in another room that has a lot of echo to it. And so I wanted to try like a smaller area in my house that is kind of quiet and doesn't have a distracting background for this video. So hopefully this is okay. You guys have to let me know what you think. Does this work? Is this okay? Or do you like where I normally film? Anyway, let me know. What this whole video is about is actually winter perfumes. And these are 10 from my collection that are outstanding. And the reason why I picked these 10 is because they're perfect for winter. The longevity is great. The sillage is great. The projection's great. So I'm not gonna go into longevity for each and every one of these. Just know that these are all six plus hours on the skin, longer on the clothes. I just wanna get into this video with you guys. And if you're just tuning in and you're new to my channel and you're wondering, who is this lady? My name is Sasha. I do fragrance reviews, a little bit of beauty and style. So if you enjoy that type of content, let me know by subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Then you'll know each time that I upload. Do you know what? I'm feeling very relaxed today. So you know what? Grab yourself a cup of coffee or a hot chocolate, a glass of wine or whatever you feel like drinking because we're going to get right on into this video and we're going to talk about these fragrances that are sure to brighten the winter season. Okay, so let's start with the first one. And that one is Viva La Juicy Gold Couture by Juicy Couture. I do like this bottle. I think it's really cute. I love the little bow in the front there and then the gold bottle. Now I have to be really honest with you guys. I'm not a huge fan of the Juicy Couture fragrances. They're not high on my list. I've tried a lot of them and I'm not impressed. However, Having said that, I do really like this fragrance a lot. I think it's actually the best in the line. So if you have a sweet tooth, and Lord knows I do, this is such a great fragrance. It's very sweet. I don't think it's headache, headache inducing. I've never gotten a headache wearing it, but I don't know. Some people are really sensitive to a lot of sweetness, but there is a lot of sweetness in there. There is some berries. It opens with like a wild berry. So if you like some fruitiness, there's some honeysuckle. There's also amber and then this melted caramel, which gives it that sweetness and then vanilla. So it kind of reminds me of those caramel candies. So if you like a fragrance that is going to be sweet, and make you smell completely edible this winter, then I would definitely recommend Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. And guys, one thing, as I'm going through my list of fragrances, let me know if you have any of these and what you think of it. Or if at the end of the video, I haven't mentioned a fragrance that you love wearing in the winter, comment that down below, because I love to hear about all the different fragrances that you guys are wearing, especially with this winter season. Okay, I'm sweating. It's hot in here. I've got all the lamp, the lamps on, my ring light, and then I'm wearing a sweater and this wrap. And it's not a real Burberry, by the way. I got this at TJ Maxx for $19.99. So if you like it, I think they still have some. Anyway, let's keep going. The next fragrance that I'm gonna talk about, love this one. You guys have recommended this one to me many, many times. La Nuit Tresor à la Folie by Lancôme. This is such a great fragrance. I have the original La Nuit Tresor by Lancome and love that one. And several of you kept saying, you've got to try the Ala Folie. You're going to love it much better. And at first I wasn't sure if I was going to like it better, but I do. This is a great fragrance. It's very boozy. It's very dark, a bit on the heavy side. It's got some woodsy undertones to it. So if you like fragrances like that, you'll really love this one a lot. There's rose essence in here. You're gonna pick up on that rose. Patchouli, and then there's a beautiful bourbon vanilla, which gives it that booziness. It's got a little bit of a powderiness to it. So if you like fragrances with a soft powdery kind of note to it, and then it's got like a smoky vibe. But in all, by all means, this is not a light fragrance. This is a heavier fragrance. This is a fragrance maybe for the nighttime in winter, 
If you're going to a special event, maybe a Christmas party, or you know what, you could wear it as a signature scent in the colder months. But I definitely fall winter for this one. That's why it's on my list. Absolutely beautiful fragrance. Again, this is La Nuit Tresor à la Folie by Lancome. Fabulous. And it's a Dior fragrance, and I'm talking about Hypnotic Poison Eau de Toilette by Christian Dior. This is a great fragrance, especially if you love nutty notes. This has a beautiful almond. It's almost like a toasted almond. There's a little bit of a, almost a smoky, a smokiness to it. It's kind of hard to explain. It's kind of powdery, smoky. There's sambac, jasmine, and vanilla. So if you love vanilla, this is another great vanilla fragrance. And for an eau de toilette, typically, just depending, they don't last as long as perfumes. And it's harder to get the perfume in this one. So I just said, you know what? I was at Macy's, I had a gift card. I'm like, I I'm just gonna get it. I'm just gonna try it. I'm gonna see what I think of it. They said if I didn't like it, I could return it. Obviously I didn't because I really do like this one a lot. It has some great stain power. So, and the sad thing is they don't really display this on the counters. You have to ask for it and then they pull it out from behind the counter, which is so odd to me. But this is a great fragrance. Again, if you like almond, this is incredible. Again, this is Hypnotic Poison Eau de Toilette by Dior. But I've had a lot of people comment that have seen my return video where I listed a number of fragrances that I had returned. And then they saw me later in other videos talking about this fragrance, which originally I had returned, causing some confusion. Yes, it was returned, gave it a second chance, bought it for $20 at TJ Maxx. I am talking about Angel Muse Eau de Parfum by Mugler. Guys, if you love Nutella, which is absolutely delicious. Oh my God, when I was a kid, I used to eat so much Nutella. I'm from Holland, the Netherlands, and so that was like a normal thing to eat at breakfast time. And as a kid, I would go every year to Holland and my aunt would give me a huge tub and my brother would get one. We'd get our own tub of the largest size Nutella. And I remember being on KLM Airlines and sitting there with a spoon, literally eating the Nutella out of the jar. I don't know what happened, but as I, we were flying over the ocean, all of a sudden I broke out in hives and I had these massive welds on my arm and the stewardess was rubbing lemon juice on my arm. I don't know if that helped, but I just remember that happening as a kid. It hasn't deterred me from loving Nutella. I just take it in very small amounts. I don't, I'm not as aggressive with a Nutella as I used to be as a kid. So having said that, if you like Nutella, you are gonna love this. It's got that hazelnut cream in here. It has great fruit that you're gonna get in the opening. It's got some pink berries, some vetiver. So a little bit of vetiver. It's got a little bit of that masculinity to it because of that vetiver. And then there's patchouli. And if you like patchouli, you're in luck. There's lots of it in this fragrance. It smells incredible. Highly recommend. Chocolatey, gourmand, absolutely delicious, perfect for winter. And again, that is Angel Muse by Mugler. Love this. It's so intense. And I say, see, si, see, si, yes, yes, you have to have this one. This is Sea si Intense by Giorgio Armani. Love this fragrance. This is beautiful, especially if you love black currant. It's heavy, it's syrupy, it's sweet. And it's absolutely delicious with the rose in here, which is very powdery. It's not an overpowering kind of a rose, but this opening kind of reminds me of like a sweet wine, if that makes sense. There's Divana patchouli as well, but the patchouli in here is not as aggressive as it is in the Angel Muse, but it is noticeable. And there's also some benzoin. So this is really one of those fragrances that smells almost like a boozy kind of wine. It's seductive. It really hangs on in the cooler weather, your clothes, your skin. It's an absolutely beautiful fragrance. So if you want to smell stunning this winter, definitely look into Sea Intense by Giorgio Armani. All right, this one I got a few weeks ago, and I think I talked about it in another video. This is so good. This is so, so good. And I was not a big fan of the original. Okay, so this one is Black Opium Extreme Eau de Parfum by Yves Saint Laurent. This is great. If you are a coffee lover and you like kind of that espresso kind of note in your fragrance mixed with some creamy vanilla, 
this fragrance is perfect for you. It's just wonderful to like wear your big sweater and you're sitting by the fire and you're having a cup of coffee or a cappuccino or whatever you like drinking. This smells so delicious and I love this. Like I said, much better than the original because there's more coffee in this one. There's vanilla bourbon, which is that booziness, and there's jasmine. So you're getting a little bit of a floral in here. Not a lot, just a little. Great fragrance, long lasting, it smells incredible. Again, if you're a coffee lover, this is one that you should definitely look into. Now, I'm not huge on the bottle, and I had mentioned that in my other video. It has a rough feeling to it. And it almost feels like, I always check my hand, it always feels like these little glitter pieces are gonna come off, but they don't. I mean, it's okay. I like the shape of the bottle. I just, I don't know, this roughness on here. I don't know. Anyway, that is Black Opium Extreme on the Parfum by Yves Saint Laurent. All right, this next fragrance, this smells like Christmas to me. Seriously, I think of Christmas trees, presents, family being around you, eating yummy desserts, and I am talking about Dior Attic by Christian Dior. Now, I know this is the reformula, reformulated one. The original had the gold. This is the silver, it is the Eau de Parfum. Smells beautiful to me. You're getting this just yummy, I think it's that bourbon vanilla in here that's just so boozy. You're getting a little bit of orange from the top. Jasmine Sembeck, and I smell cinnamon in here. Although it's not listed as a note, I smell it. And I think that's what gives this kind of a Christmas vibe with that bourbon vanilla. It's just an absolutely gorgeous fragrance. So if you're a vanilla lover and you have not smelled this one, this is definitely one maybe you wanna put on your wish list for Christmas. It's absolutely beautiful. It performs so well over the fall and winter. You just, you're gonna love this one. Again, that is Dior Attic by Christian Dior. Love this one and I've tried a lot of the Prada fragrances and I have to say, Prada Candy Night Eau de Parfum by Prada is literally my favorite from their line. It's so good. It's another one with chocolate, and the chocolate in here is very dry. It's a powdery type of chocolate, like a bittersweet, if that makes sense. Oh, it smells so good. There's a little bit of neroli in here. You're going to get that. A little bit of bitter orange. There's tonka bean. There's vanilla. There's also a little patchouli in here. Not a lot. The prominent notes in here are definitely that chocolate and that vanilla. You, do, you are going to pick up a little bit of that patchouli, but it's, it's incredible. So again, if you are a chocolate lover and you want to smell like dessert this winter, this is fabulous. I highly recommend this. Again, this is Prada Candy Night by Prada Eau de Parfum. Moving right along, we've got two left and you guys are doing really well. And I haven't lost you yet, I hope. Okay, you ready? This next one is also incredible. Love this. This is La Belle Eau de Parfum by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Love the bottle. Very, very feminine. And as you guys can notice, the juice is all, I don't know if you can see that or not. The juice is almost like brown. It used to be like a soft lavender purple color. And I guess that vanilla in here is aging really well because I do notice that it lasts a lot longer on me. Super intoxicating. There's some bergamot in here, which you're definitely going to pick up on. But that main note in here is this lovely, juicy, mouth-watering pear that's just undeniable. It's just absolutely luscious. So if you love pear, this is the way to go. It also has this beautiful vanilla pot in here. There's a little bit of vetiver. I don't really pick up on the vetiver. It's in there. Maybe it's what gives this fragrance kind of its uniqueness. It's not overpowering. It's just done super well. Very, very feminine, gorgeous, elegant, beautiful for the fall, winter time. You can even wear this in the spring. Gorgeous. Another one you should have on your wish list for Christmas because this is just stunning. And I'm sure you've heard so many people already talk about this one. So it should not be a surprise to you. Again, that is La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier, Eau de Parfum. This one is super unique. I'm in love with this one. This is just one of my favorites. And this one is Plum in Cognac by Sense of Wood. Love this fragrance. They actually sent this to me as a gift a while back and I did a whole video on this. Their fragrances are incredible. They actually put like the alcohol that goes in fragrances, they put them and age them in these oak barrels to kind of give them this unique scent. And this particular fragrance was aged in a cognac barrel. 
So it's got a lot of that booziness, some rum, beautiful vanilla in here, and it's absolutely incredible. The best way I can describe this fragrance is if you've tried Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille, it's reminiscent of that. However, this is on a whole other level. This is like a, a several steps up from that. And I don't get me wrong, I love Tobacco Vanille from Tom Ford, but this, this is something that I really cherish. I kind of save this for special occasions because it's such a beautiful fragrance. It's so unique, it's so intoxicating. You get that plum, it's juicy, it's ripe. And then you get this rum in there. Like I said, very, very boozy. Cinnamon is in here, which is incredible. It has a little bit of a spiciness. There's Peru balsam as well as vetiver. So this is a unisex fragrance, absolutely perfect. You guys would love, love, love this. Now I'm gonna put links to all of these fragrances in the description box. I'm gonna try and find the best prices for you guys. This one, you're gonna to have to buy directly from them. You can't get this anywhere else, but most of these, I think you can get at some of the fragrance online stores and stuff like that. Again, let me know. Do you have any of the fragrances I talked about today? If not, what winter fragrance is your favorite? I would love to know. Comment that down below. I try to read everybody's comment and get back to everybody. I so appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my video. Enjoy the rest of your day and stay beautiful inside and out.